Hey guys, Brandon here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace a broken leaf spring on your trailer. Um, also, I have a little tip to if you have this problem like I did, where you break down on the side of the road somewhere, and you know your wheel well's down on your tire and you can't move, um, I have a little tip to fix that quickly and get you back on the road, get you safely home, so you can fix it in your own garage. All right, so before we get to the um, replacing of the leaf springs, I wanted to show you the, the kind of the quick fix to get you home, the limp you home, kind of how I've done here, why, how I got home and safely in my garage to be able to change it. So as you can see from the back side here, I put taken a block of wood and I put it above my axle in between the axle and the springs. And what that does is it creates enough space, enough gap where it keeps your fender off of your tire where you can get home. Obviously you're gonna to wanna to avoid potholes and go pretty slow because if that block of wood falls out, it's coming right back down on that tire and you're in the same situation, possibly worse, you break something else. Um, so in order to do that, basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna get your jack. Hopefully you have one in your vehicle, if not put one in there. Uh, most vehicles come with one. Um, you're also going to need a block of wood, so you might as well throw a two by four or a few in your truck just to have. Um, but what, what you do, you, you jack up that your um, frame enough where you have enough gap, you can slide that wood in and then slowly lower it down onto that block of wood. And that's going to hold in there. It's going to be pretty, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of weight on that wood, so it's not going to slip out very easily, but it will if you hit a good enough hole. Um, but that's going to, in order, that's going to get you home semi safely. Um, and not have you leave your boat on the side of the road and uh, but get you home so you can replace it. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to take this tire off and get um, started on the springs. All right, we got the tire off and as you can see the leaf spring broke right here. Um, so what we're going to do is first take off the um, four bolts that hold these U-brackets on, the axle to the springs themselves. Um, followed by the three bolts uh, from your leaf spring. Uh, pull that whole thing out and uh, go from there. Alright, we got the old one off of there. It took a little longer than I thought it was going to. Those, I guess those bolts are kind of, they were tight on there from being dumped in the water for years and years, but we got them off. Um, now we're ready to put the new one on. I was going to remind you guys that um, make sure before you start taking all this off that you have your, obviously your trailer supported, um, not only just with a jack, but a jack stand. I have mine jacked up in the middle here, the back, and then I also have my axle. You want that jacked up as well so it's not falling and creating torque on the other side. Okay, so get started here. Um, you're gonna make sure this band here is going to be facing to the front of the trailer. Uh, one thing I didn't know about with these, they came with these, which I know your bolts go through those, but these red ones, I don't know if they're just kind of a, for shipping purposes, that just flew off, but it seemed kind of a little bit plastic, a little lighter plastic. So I ordered, they came with them my bolts anyway so i went ahead and popped the new black ones in these are a little bit thicker i don't know if those red ones are fine or not but maybe you guys can tell me but anyways i popped these new ones in just because i got them and uh we'll go from there also because you know why not to do it anyways i got new brackets um these are on here i'm sure are fine but i wanted to kind of keep everything new since we're replacing anyways so put these on on the back side they'll they kind of uh it's more of a hanger hangs down and then the front will actually slip straight up in here and the bolt will go straight through. But these more kind of gives it a little bit of flex on the back side. So. Okay, so we got the new leaf spring on, um, fit pretty good. So with this little bracket here, um, this is what we take, took off the old uh, axle that holds the 
basically holds the axle to the leaf springs, attaches it. Um, there's a little hole in the center here, and there's also on your springs that you get, there's a hole there. So you're gonna wanna stick this like that on that hole. Okay, and just like the top, the bottom has a hole as well. Um, you're gonna hit that bolt that comes through the bottom and that's gonna go right through the center of that bracket. Faces this way, the little wings down, put it back just like you took it off. Put your bolt right back through it. All right guys, we got it all put together. We got the springs on, we got the axle attached to the springs. Um, went fairly well after basically the hardest part was getting the bolts, the old bolts off because they were kind of like corroded on there. So that took a lot of work. Other than that, it went pretty well. Um, just like I said, make sure you support your trailer. Um, if you can take off your other wheel and just lift the whole boat up so you don't have any um, tension on stress on the axle when you're trying to put all this stuff back together. Uh, and when you're ordering springs, make sure you me measure eye to eye and that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope I could help with anything. Leave a comment below if you need have any questions on anything. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.